Good morning. Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Wednesday, July 24th, 2013. According to uh, news sources in Moscow, Edward Snowden is on the move. He's been granted permission to leave the Moscow airport transit zone, where he's been holed up for a number of weeks. Uh, the Interfax news agency says that uh, he has not been granted uh, asylum, but however, he has been given a, uh, a transit passport, an immigration document that will allow him to leave the airport. He apparently uh, is going to be leaving the airport, heading to a destination as yet unrevealed uh, very soon. Meanwhile, in Japan at the Fukushima nuclear power plant, the Tokyo Electric Power Company, which operates the plant, admitted that again, steam had been spotted at the reactor for a second time in four days. Uh, according to reports, steam was seen coming from a uh, fifth floor of the building house that housed reactor number three, which is the crippled reactor. Uh, steam was spotted in the same area last Thursday, but it disappeared by the next day. TEPCO is looking into the possibility that accumulated rainwater had been the source. Workers at the plant continued to inject cooling water into the still hot reactor and a pool storing nuclear fuel. TEPCO admitted last week that Fukushima was still likely uh, contaminating water uh, by leaking it into the Pacific Ocean. This is the first time they've acknowledged the leak. The 9.0 earthquake in March of 2011, uh, of course, killed nearly 20,000 people and caused the damage to begin with. Meanwhile, in the Gulf of Mexico, south of Louisiana, an out-of-control natural gas well is uh, raging right now in a big fire. The blowout caused the evacuation of 44 workers. It will not be as damaging, supposedly, as the BP Deepwater Horizon in 2010. Uh, according to uh, sources, a company called Wild Well Control has been hired to try to bring the well under control. The fire is too hot to get near it. They're sitting in boats right now about 200 feet away from it. The Coast Guard is keeping uh, ship traffic out of an area within 500 meters of the site, and the Federal Aviation Administration is restricting aircraft up to 2,000 feet above the area. We'll keep our eyes on that. There's a, a bit of a uh, sheen of some sort covering an area about a half mile by 50 feet at the moment. However, according to uh, some observers there, it's dissipating quickly. John Charman, uh, after taking over at Endurance Specialty in Bermuda, is beginning to make some moves now. Uh, he has appointed Catherine Kalajian as Chief Operations Officer. Her responsibilities will include oversight for information technology, insurance and reinsurance underwriting activities, procurement, and program management. Uh, she will also retain her existing duties. Her existing duty is that of Chief Administrative Officer. When she was appointed to that role, she carried over her existing duties from her previous role as Chief Claims Officer. So she's a very busy person. Uh, they also appointed uh, Joan, Joan de la Temps. She's going to be the chief risk officer with the responsibility for corporate underwriting. Less than two months uh, after his uh, appointment as CEO of, of uh, Endurance, Charman has uh, dismissed a significant number of senior and mid-ranking staff. He's understood to have aggressively taken aim at Endurance's expense base by terminating staff across its Bermuda, Zurich, and London offices. The Southwest Airlines pl uh, plane that skidded some 2,200 feet at LaGuardia Airport after the nose wheel collapsed is being now investigated as a uh, full-scale incident by the National Transportation Safety Board. Uh, the uh, nose gear collapsed up and into the fuselage, damaging the electronics bay that houses the avionics. The NTSB wants to find out why that happened. Meanwhile, in New Zealand, that earthquake, a 6.5 that struck there on Sunday, 34 miles from Wellington, is likely to cause insurer losses uh, far less than a billion dollars. This is according to Credit Suisse. Um, this would be about 10% of those incurred as a result of the 2011 Christchurch crash, uh, earthquake, I should say. It's unlikely to cause a spike in reinsurance rates, according to other experts. Uh, a security consultant is saying that West African pirates will threaten the region's oil and shipping industry for years to come as the measures used to curb similar attacks off Somalia in the Indian Ocean are not available. Apparently the reason is, is that uh, 
Guards cannot carry weapons into ports in West Africa. Why that is a problem, I don't know. Presumably because the uh, guards must alight from the ship before docking. Perhaps uh, that's the issue. I don't know why a ship can't uh, get to within sight of the dock and have the uh, guards alight at that point, but there must be some reason to do it. The escalating threat will probably last for years, according to the Protection Group International, the parent company of one of the world's largest security services. Uh, West Africa shipped about 10% of the world's crude oil last year. In Lloyd's, if you've ever been there on one live street, there's an old bell in the center of the uh, atrium uh, down on the floor, the marble floor. It's a little bit reminiscent of the Liberty Bell in Philadelphia. It's rung uh, very periodically. During all of World War II, it was rung one time when the British Navy sank the uh, German battleship, the Bismarck. It's also uh, been rung after the deaths of uh, royal family members. It's rung for ceremonial uh, and special purpose, such as the 9-11 disasters, the Asian tsunami, and the London bombings, and it's always rung uh, every year on Armistice Day. Well, yesterday morning, it was rung again for the uh, arrival of the new prince, the third in line for the British throne, who was uh, born to Kate Middleton and Prince William uh, on Monday, or Sunday, I believe. The prince actually made his first TV appearance uh, yesterday. Uh, the world was agog with interest. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.